Hello friends, Brian Shercliffe here, and I have exciting news that maybe you've heard that Matt Kluster and I have a new book coming. The title is Winds of Revolution, and the R is in parentheses. Could be revolution, could be evolution, could be both. And it's pairing my poems with Matt's amazing paintings. If you've never checked out his paintings, check out Matthew Kluster Art on Facebook or his website, and you'll see amazing uh, creations that invite us more deeply into the moment, as any good art does. And I hope my poems do the same thing. Um, it's pretty funny how we reconnected all these years, really through the wonders of Facebook that we reconnected, and had no idea that when we met in 1997, 1998, that uh, he would go off on this path of studying nature uh, through his painting, and I'd go on this path of studying nature through poems, and both of us just this deep appreciation for the natural world in which we humans are. We are nature, right? And as I sit here by my window and feel the breeze, you know, coming through and on my skin and noticing everything changing, it helps me to begin to realize that we're in constant change. Though maybe, maybe a certain moment of change, that a certain moment of transformation that we humans are living through now, um, that's rather interesting, right? That maybe began, I don't know, maybe even 100 years ago. Uh, if you study history like I do and uh, begin to know that every 500 years or so, there's this grand change. It takes about 100 years in to get it going, and then something new comes about, and we live as humans through those centuries uh, after it relatively uh, peacefully, relatively peacefully, and then suddenly we're called to change again. Who knows what brings on this change? Uh, but we're in the midst of it now, aren't we? And there's, and there's nothing we can do to stop it. It's gonna keep going. Uh, maybe that's just the way of nature, as the ancients taught us, right? Movement and rest, movement and rest. And we invite you to this book, Winds of Revolution, to begin to know more deeply uh, that change can be okay, that the wind is never the same, right? The wind coming through this window or your window is never the same. It has a flow to it that can't quite be predicted. So I'd like to invite you to hear the, uh, the first reading, actually, the first reading of the first poem in the book. Um, the book's about 100 pages of poems and paintings. And this is the introductory poem that has to do with this, this, this era of change in which we find ourselves environmentally, politically, religiously, uh, all those ways we've organized ourselves, even familial familiarly, is that, can I say that right? In, in the ways of family is changing and probably has always been changing. So here's the poem. Well, it doesn't take a genius to know it's crumbling and has been almost as soon as we built it these generations, centuries. All the institutions we've depended on so easily shaken, barns ready to fall over with a good breeze. Well, what are those barns? Organized religions using long ago yesterday's lenses and filters to try to make sense of today. All of our language tied up with those lenses. Another barn, governments that got us to this point, at least many of us. And another barn, whatever we once thought were traditional relationships and families that birthed us, raised us to this point. Really many versions since the beginning of time and changing again. All of them, all of those barns necessary having their moment on the stage to organize the drama just barely enough to get us here, where joy and gentle care are possible for at least a moment, maybe longer if we let it. My old farming friends tell me that it's best to not be in the barn when it's falling over. And it's best not to be the one trying to hurry up the process as the splinters will get you too. Just let the wind do it. What was there before organized religions and governments and traditional relationships where the human generations we've come to expect before all that? Well, the wind, 
the inspiration for all these crumbling things whose crumbles will be compost for whatever newness wants and needs to be born. Those old wooden barns become deliciousness for worms who will first find the beams nearest the earth and all the wetness of the rain will break them down and yum, those worms do their thing. Maybe a beam or a plank of the old barn will be necessary, needed for building the new way. Or maybe the new way needs no building at all, just attention. Just like the pushing of the barn needs no help, just some curiosity about which storm will do it in. Just enough appreciation of the wind nourishing all without trying to, though maybe getting its rocks off, roughing up rocks in doing so. It's play, the wind's play. And here's the question playing with you and me. Invest your time and attention in the crumbling or invest your time and attention and love into the rebuild, the rebirth of the new again world for all. And watch out for the splinters. So we'd love for you to pre-order your book with us, which helps us to be able to get it published and uh, you can do that through vitalitybuzz.org. And we have many books there, actually all of them right here, available there for sale. And your donation, your uh, purchasing the book actually contributes some donation to Vitality, which shares holistic self-care all throughout Cincinnati and really all over the planet now that we're on Zoom. So uh, we've done a lot of great things in the last 13, almost 13, almost 14 years, almost 14 years. And we're looking forward to doing more. You can check us out at vitalitycincinnati.org to see uh, some of those accomplishments through the years. And if you order your, if you pre-order your book by this Friday, May 17th, 2024, I know some of you might be watching after that. If you do that by this Friday by midnight, uh, you'll get your name in the book as a veteran. What in the world is a veteran? Well, it's Vitality's version of a patron matron, right? A supporter. And it's gender inclusive, right? Includes all. So uh, we invite you to do that, and we'll invite you then to a party, uh, both in person and on Zoom, to celebrate the book once it is available. And uh, we'd love to see you there in that book, and to see you there at, that, at those parties, and to see you there as we continue to grow through all this change that is happening, and all those barns that are essentially crumbling and falling over so that something new can be born, some other possibility can be born. And uh, may we be wise as people and usher in some new age of love, right? Where love is possible and a respect for every human being, every creature on the planet and a deep appreciation, a deep appreciation of the wind that sustains us, the wind that we breathe in, that gives every one of us life, which remind us of our equality uh, of being, right? Or equality of being that every creature shares in this life together. We're swimming in it. And as we swim in the change, we, may we remember that we're swimming in change constantly and that love is indeed possible. Peace, 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 friends. Look forward to seeing you down the path.